This guide for Feral Druid in patch 10.2.5 of Dragonflight aims to teach you how to hit the ground running and learn the specialization for raiding and Mythic Plus without any information overload at all, and I promise it's going to be as straightforward as we can make it. I want to take a very quick look at the stat priority, but do be aware, as a beginner, you should be prioritizing agility and eye level over everything. As you become more advanced with the spec, of course, look more into the exact amounts and sim your character if you would like to for these secondary ones. But this is just a baseline that we should be using as a guide. So number one, as I said, is agility and eye level. Our first and most important secondary stat is going to be Critical Strike if we can get it. Then it's going to be Haste and Mastery, and lastly is going to be Versatility. Regarding the talent trees, this one on the left is for single target and raid, and the one on the right is the one you're going to want to follow for Mythic Plus. I've put import strings down below for both of these. I'm not going to go through every single individual talent right now, but what I will say is that once you are more comfortable with the spec, it's a really good idea to go through both your spellbook and the talent trees and see how every individual spell fits together. The reason I don't recommend doing this immediately is because it can be overwhelming and it's really important to understand the core fundamentals of the spec before going into all the nuances and the tiny details, etc. Before we then go into the actual rotations, let's first look at what are some really important cooldowns and utilities that we do have. Like I said, there are other bits and bobs in your spell book that you should look at when you're more comfortable, but these are the really, really important and our strongest cooldowns. First up, let's look at some defensive ones. We've got Renewal, which is going to really simply heal 30% of your health instantly and is fantastic if you've accidentally stepped in the fire or something like that. On the right hand side, we have Bark Skin reducing damage taken, but subsequently also actually increasing how much healing you take. So this is a two-in-one defensive cooldown. Remember as well, with things like Bark Skin, we can also go into Bear Form, which is going to reduce our damage taken via the way of increased armor, etc. And we can always just pop into Bear Form quickly without needing to use any cooldowns at all in order to save ourselves a bit of damage. The last, and in my personal opinion, the best, is going to be Survival Instincts. It's only for about six seconds, but it is going to reduce all damage you take by 50%, and this is amazing. Now looking at our offensive cooldowns, we've got two really important ones here. One is Berserk, and the second is Tiger's Fury. The reason I haven't put the entire description here is because we're going to go through these in more detail in the core rotation. But as an overview, Tiger's Fury restores energy and increases your damage done. Berserk generates a crazy amount of combo points and increases your damage done. If you don't know what combo points are, again, we're going to look at that shortly. But now on to the utilities we have in our toolbox as a Feral Druid in 10.2.5. So, Ursul's uh, Vortex at the top left here. You can place a Vortex and this is really good in Mythic Plus because any enemies that stand in it are going to get slowed. When they try and exit the Vortex, they get pulled back in, which is a win-win. We've got Innovate, which you may use in Mythic Plus or Raiding. Generally, you're going to give this to your healer if they go out of mana, if they call for it, or in raids, if your raid leader calls for you to put it onto someone. This is going to mean that that person will be able to cast without using any mana for eight seconds, which is amazing. Rebirth, the next one is our Combat Res. That is something that all druids have. Skull Bash on the bottom row then is our Kick or Interrupt. This is going to interrupt spell casting on our enemy and is really, really important. Entangling Roots, of course, is going to root the target in place. A very useful spell we have there. It's slowing enemies down. And Stampeding Roar is going to increase the speed of you and your party members for a short duration of time. Now that we're in game, before we get into rotation, I just want to show you some really core things on my UI. First of all is this weak aura in the center of the screen. There's an import string for this down below. And if you're not used to using these, it's an add-on that is going to help us visualize all of our cooldowns and buffs, etc. in one central place, along with our resources. As a Feral Druid, we use two resources, combo points and energy. You can see this bar here. We have 160 energy and we have five combo points. It's similar to a rogue if you have played that. We're going to have some abilities that generate 
combo points by spending energy, and then we're going to have finishers, which will use up our combo points to do even more damage. More on that shortly. If you do need any help at all, and I really do seriously mean this, if you need anything at all, please join my Discord. There's a link in the description. I'll welcome you and make sure that any questions you have are answered, whether it's about Feral Druid or a different class, your UI, add-ons, anything at all in World of Warcraft, I'll help you with. I really do mean that. I love building and fostering a community here and making sure that we can all help each other. We also do events like running low Mythic Plus keys and raids so that new people, beginners, and people returning to WoW or trying out new classes can learn in a relaxed atmosphere without the pressure of judgment. And if you do want to go even one step further and support me, help helping me in turn support you, please do click that join button below and become a member where you can then import my total UI through a secret channel in our Discord and get even more resources like all of my macro and keybind setups, etc. So to start off, I want to go through the core abilities that we have on this huge action bar I've set up on the screen here. First of all, as I said, we are a bit like a druid rogue so we can actually go into prowl here and this is going to put us into stealth you can see at the bottom of my action bar on the bottom of my screen all i have on my stealth action bar is rake and there's a reason for this that is this talent here pouncing strikes as a tldr by the way we are going to start with a single target rotation and that's what this talent tree is at the end i'll then go through the changes we're going to make and how to do an aoe and mythic plus rotation so pouncing strikes while stealthed, Rake is going to stun the target for four seconds and deal 60% increased damage for its duration. So when we're going into combat, we always want to make sure we're stealthed and then use Rake as our first attack when we go in to get that increased damage. If we look at Rake then, this is an ability that's going to spend our energy and generate combo points. It's going to be a bleed damage, so it's a damage over time, and as a Feral Druid we use a lot of damage over times and bleeds, and it's going to do an additional bleed damage over 12 seconds. While stealthed, as you can see, it's going to do increased damage, and it's going to award one combo point. We then have something called Frash, which is going to strike all nearby enemies, dealing a certain amount of damage as bleed damage and additional bleed damage over 12 seconds, also awards one combo point. Shred is going to shred the target, and this is also going to do increased damage while stealthed but we're opting for our rake for that one when we go into combat again it's gonna generate one combo point we then have brutal slash striking all nearby enemies with a massive slash dealing damage and reduced damage beyond five talk targets this also generates one combo point and has a maximum of three charges so this actually has a six second recharge and goes up to three charges so you can use it three times in a row and then lastly, we've got Feral Frenzy, which is our last ability for combo point generation. Unleash a Ferris Frenzy, clawing your target five times and additional bleed damage. This awards a full five combo points. So you always want to use this when we have zero combo points available. This ability is also what our set bonus revolves around this tier. And I've put the bonuses up above. Basically, we're going to get some increased damage and a reduced cooldown on it when we use Feral Frenzy. Then we're going to go into these two abilities here, Rip and Ferocious Bite. These are our abilities that we're going to spend our combo points with. So if we look at Rip first, we can see it's going to use one to five combo points. And you can see that depending on how many combo points we use to spend it, it's actually going to do more and more damage over a longer period of time. And I would always recommend to use this at the full five combo points for the biggest effect. This one is a finishing move that causes bleed damage over a longer period of time per combo point, and then Ferocious Bite is a finishing move that causes physical damage per combo point and consumes up to additional 25 energy to increase the damage by up to 100%. So basically, these first four abilities are our basic combo point generators. Feral Frenzy is what is, is affected by our set bonus this season, and it's going to generate a total of five combo points all on its own. And then we have Rip and Ferocious Bite, which are our two combo point finishers which are our two combo point spenders we've then got berserk and tiger's fury which are our cooldowns these are our major offensive cooldowns so let's take a closer look at these berserk is for 20 seconds you generate one combo point every 1.5 seconds your combo point generating abilities are also going to generate an extra combo point every time you use them and finishing moves are actually going to restore up to three combo points 
generated over the cap. Shred and rake damage is also increased by 50%. And that is this one here, rake, and also this one here, shred. So the one that looks like a claw and a fang. Then we look at Tiger's Fury. It's on a 30 second cooldown, so we can use this a hell of a lot. We are going to use it on cooldown pretty much. Instantly restore 50 energy and increases the damage of all your attacks by 27% for their full duration. There is something called snapshotting with Feral, and we are going to be using Tiger's Fury for it. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail for this, as that's where it starts to get a bit more complex and advanced, and I don't think it's appropriate to be talking about as a beginner. But just so you know, it does exist, and you can prepare more for that once you're more used to... Well, once you're not a beginner anymore. Um, basically, how snapshotting works is that when we put something like Rake on our target, if we apply that bleed when Tiger's Fury is active... Even when Tiger's Fury ends, the remainder of that bleed that therefore would have had increased damage from Tiger's Fury will still continue to have the increased damage. So to explain it another way, you put on Tiger's Fury, woohoo, increased damage. We then put on our rake bleed. Tiger's Fury falls off halfway through the bleed of rake. For the remaining 50% duration, say, of rake, the damage isn't going to go back down to baseline. It's actually going to continue at the higher level. There is another talent that you can then use with this, and I've actually talented out of this for the beginner guide because this is where it starts to get really complex. But again, I just want to talk about it so you know it's there. That one is blood talons here. When you use three different combo point generating abilities within four seconds, the damage of your next three rips or ferocious bites, that's your two combo point spenders, is increased by 25% for their full duration. Now, what a lot of people do is they use their... Um, their Tiger's Fury with this, and it's all about timing all these different buffs and procs, etc., with Blood Talons to make sure that you're getting out as much damage as possible. But then your head explodes because it's all just so crazy, as a beginner at least. So what I have chosen to do for this beginner's build is spec out of Blood Talons and instead go for something much simpler, which is Lion's Strength, where a Ferocious Bite and Rip just deal 15% increased damage forever. That's it. Much, much simpler. I've also taken out a point from Adaptive Swarm. You should be using this on cooldown if you are going to take it, but it's another spell that we're then going to be using. Instead, I've put a point into Frantic Momentum, where finishing moves have a 3% chance per combo point to grant you 10% haste. So I'm taking out this extra ability and putting it into Frantic Momentum, which is a passive, because for beginners... That makes it simpler. It's going to be a complex rotation as it is, by the way. And then again, we're taking out blood talons and just getting a baseline increase to our damage for our finishers. And that's going to be a lot more simple. But just so you know, if you want to do the really crazy build, that's how I would do it. And that is an overview of our basic abilities. So how are we going to put these all together into a single target rotation? So going into the actual single target rotation then, we're going to go into Stealth, remember, and then use our Rake, putting that bleed on the target, doing increased damage because we were in Stealth. You can then see that we've actually got a proc on some of our spells. This is the Omen of Clarity talent. TLDR, your auto attacks have a high chance of making some of your spells free and doing increased damage. This is clear casting. You can see that buff here on my weak aura. So... We've gone in, we've used our rake, we've put the bleed on, obviously it's fallen off because I keep talking, but imagine this was instantly. <laughs> um, then we're going to use our brutal slash, which is the second button. You can then see we've got four out of five combo points. And then for that last one, we're going to use shred. So as I've got my action bar set up here, you're just going to do one, two, three. Now, obviously, we've got five combo points and it's time to use our finisher. However, before you then put that rip bleed onto the target, let's use our Tiger's Fury cooldown so that our rip can do even more damage. So we're going to use that. Then we're going to spend our combo points on rip. And then we're going to go over to our Feral Frenzy. Because remember, as you can see, this is going to give us a total of five combo points immediately. Rip is obviously still up on the target, so we don't need to use that again. But it's then time, of course, to use our Ferocious Bite. We're then going to use our Berserk and then use Ferocious Bite. Same sort of reasoning as why we use our Tiger's Fury before using Rip. Of course, we've got a ton more combo points now because we're in Berserk and we can start looking at the actual overall rotation. So that's the opener. And now let's look at what we're going to do in general. So once we've done all that and all of our bleeds are up, what we're then going to do is go onto a priority list. That being maintaining Rake. So again, I'm going to use Tiger's, uh, Tiger's Fury and then use Rake. So we want to maintain that bleed as top priority on the target. 
We're then going to want to maintain our rake bleed on the target. That's our second priority. Do try and put this up with Tiger's Fury if you can. When we get our clear casting, generally we're going to spend it on either Shred, because that's our main combo point builder, or Frash at number six here, because that's also going to put a bleed, as you can see, onto the target. Frash is our lowest bleeds priority, or it is the lowest priority bleed, should I say, but do try and keep this one up as well. If you can't tell already, the main priority here is keeping up all of our bleeds, and then using Shred and Ferocious Bite as our combo point builder and spender. So just to go over all of that again then, for single target, go into Stealth, use Rake, then use Brutal Slash, then use Shred to get your fifth combo point, use Tiger's Fury, and then do Rip, and then get your five combo points back with Feral Frenzy, go into Berserk, and then Ferocious Bite, and then just aim to keep up your Rip, your Rake, your Frash, and then use your Spenders on Rip to replenish it, and then Ferocious Bite as your other spender. And that is pretty much it for single target. It's actually fairly straightforward when you look at it like this. When you put in things like Blood Talons, as I said before, it can then get incredibly complex and extraordinarily fast paced. But as a beginner, just mastering this part of the rotation, I think is going to get you actually further than you think. And honestly, it's so enjoyable. There's a few other little talent points I just want to make you aware of before we finish up and go on to multi-target. One of them is this one here, Sudden Ambush. Finishing moves have a 6% chance per combo point to make your next Rake or Shred deal damage as if you were stealthed. If you're wondering why we only use Rake at the start and not Shred, this is um, sort of the reason. We are actually going to get some stealth performance from our abilities still. Another one is Raging Fury. Finishing moves extend the duration of Tiger's Fury by 0.4 seconds per combo point spent. So you are going to be extending that Tiger's Fury a little bit when you use your finishers. Woohoo! And then another one is Taste for Blood. Ferocious Bite is going to deal 5% in increased damage for each of your bleeds on the target, meaning that keeping up as many bleeds as we can, all of them, is even more important. And this is one of the reasons why we want to do that. Of course, having more bleeds is a win-win anyway. One last one then I want to speak about is moment of clarity um tldr your omen of clarity which is your clear casting can actually go to two stacks so if you use that proc and see it's still there this is why okay so now we're on to looking at multi-target aoe and the mythic plus tree this is it here again import string down below let's have a look at the few talents that have changed first of all starting at the top we've got primal wrath this is our new spender for aoe and it's actually just going to put rip on all target. TLDR in AoE, we're going to want to spread our bleed damage, all of our bleeds across as many enemies as possible. And that is our primary goal. And that's the main difference in the single target versus AoE. I mean, shocker, right? In single target, we're putting it on single target in AoE. We want it on everyone. How, how mind blowing is that? But. Primal Wrath is, is basically just going to put Rip on everything. If we go down one then to Double Clawed Rake, we can see that Rake is also going to apply to one additional enemy. So you can tab target around and do it on two at a time rather than one with this talent. If we go down to here, you can see we've now got Incarnation Avatar of Ashamane. This one is just an improved version of our Berserk. Huge tooltip there. Doesn't really change too much, but we're going to use that instead of Berserk. You'll notice it'll be replaced on your action bars when you swap from Berserk. Apart from that, we're not really changing much. One thing to note on both single target and AoE that I forgot to mention is Apex Creditor's Craving. Rip has a chance to make your next throw ship spite free and deal max damage, irrelevant of how many combo points you have. So when you see your Ferocious Bite proc, do make sure to use it, just like how we do with our Omen of Clarity proc, our Shred and Rake. So for the actual priority then on AoE, you're going to, of course, as usual, make sure that you have your Tiger's Fury being used on cooldown so that we're maximizing the damage we can do. For your combo point spender, use Primal uh, Wrath, rather than rip make sure you're getting rake on all of your targets get your fresh on all of your targets and that bleed as well and then one small thing is that brutal slash becomes a higher priority when we are in our tiger's fury window and spam all three stacks of brutal slash remember this is also an aoe attack is going to cleave and in tiger's fury all three of these stacks are going to do even more damage 
And that is pretty much it. Again, if you do have any questions at all, need any help with anything, please do join my Discord where I can help out with those questions that you may have. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss my future videos. Leave a thumbs up and do let me know your comments and thoughts in the comments below.